mushroom. I think I'm going to color this one first. Uh, I think I'm going to make this one a combination of sienna brown, Tuscan red, of course my canary yellow, and these other budget friendly pencils by Color Color. Can you see it? There it is. And it's just got the color on the tip. It's a real light brown. So I need it. And then to help blend, I'm going to use this seashell pink PC1093 Prismacolor. All these are except for the Warner Prismacolor. And I may put a little bit of goldenrod in. And then, of course, I got white and my blending pencil. So, let's see what we can create with these colors. Let's start with Sienna Brown. I think that's what I'm going to outline it with. a little bit wider there we go a little bit wider give me more to blend with and work with go a little bit extra because of the shadow Part's going to be the shadow part, and under here, some color in there. I may have to add more later, but that was a little crooked. There's a darker line. There we go. Alright. Hmm. And then. Hmm. I think I'm going to use goldenrod. Kind of go in behind what I'm going to do to it. Give me a base color. That golden rod goes good with them browns. The yellow. I hope you guys are liking this angle. Let me know. If you like the other way I do it or this way. I think I've tried three different angles. Let's do Tuscan Red around these. There we go. Now let's do Canary Yellow base color down here. Oh, it's on my paper. I looked up all different kinds of mushrooms and I'm trying to mimic what I've seen but at the same time throw my flare on it now this I'm gonna try this light color give it a base color 
with this lighter brown. All right, and then I'm going to outline it. Let's see how this goes. Let's see shell pink. Oh, I got a cat hair. Here, outlining. Oh, yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, and I think I'm going to do golden rod. Okay, a little bit of yellow. What you doing, baby? What do you want? Yeah, you can have that. Let's see what this Tuscan Red does. Sideways, color over. Okay, that's excellent. All right, let's put a little bit of Tuscan red here at the edges, along with. Of Sienna Brown. Okay. You know, as I have watched myself back in these videos, of course, editing and stuff, I say okay and I think so a lot. I don't know if anybody else pays attention to it, but I do. So I'm trying to get out of the habit of saying that. I'm just going to go ahead and just spit out what I got to say and quit saying, okay. And so, <laughs> I don't know. I just, it annoys me. It's pretty bad when you annoy yourself. And it's not hard to do. When you're critical of yourself. don't need to add any more color to this. Get that smudged out. Okay. Smudge this down just a little bit more because it's the shadow. this out a little bit further. How's that look? Good. Does that look good? Okay. Well, I need to go in between these. It's to not smudge it out anymore. Get the color off the end of my blender. Now let's blend this out a little bit. Let's use a little bit of white. Okay, I'm going to cut 
color to this last mushroom. Get all my colors over here. Make sure I got everything. Now, I'm going to start with Sienna Brown again. I'm going to color it the exact same way as I did the first. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera. Finish this mushroom. So, the next time I see you, the mushrooms will all be done. And we'll start on the background and stuff. Alright. Thank you guys for watching me. I really appreciate it. Everyone have a blessed day and see you next time.